Okay, here we go, back with a new one. Um, just want to say thank you to my new subscribers. And if you're new here, go ahead and uh, hit the like button and subscribe for post notifications. Uh, but yeah, despite despite everything was going on with crypto with this whole FTX saga, crypto is actually pumping right now, which is good. You know, I figured we was going to rebound from this. You know, the crypto market is looking pretty positive right now. Um, Bitcoin and Ethereum look like it's trying to pump to recover. You know, from that crap with the with that whole, um, um, with that whole FTX thing. Um, you know that big criminal Sam. You know Bankman, fried or you know or what we call him in the crypto community now, is scam, a uh, bankrupt. Um, uh, Sam bankrupt. Um, uh, fried or freed or whatever. But anyways, um. You know, things is looking good, you know, right now. We're going to see how, you know, maybe maybe that whole FTX thing, you know, ironically, this may seem kind of funny. Maybe this whole FTX thing could be the catalyst of the beginning of our crypto bull run. You know, I guess we'll see because, you know, I think I think it happened at the perfect time. This whole FTX thing, you know, it happened at the perfect time because, you know, this was right, right going towards the end of our crypto winter. You know, I think it's about time, you know, we high time, we, you know, get rid of the get rid of these, you know, clowns, these bad guys in crypto. Um, and, um, you know, they, you know, really exposed this guy, you know, what's crazy is like he went, he was mainstream. They have a, a the arena in Miami, Florida named after him, the FTX arena. You know, this guy, he, I'm quite sure he disappointed a lot of people. I'm quite sure there's people who had, you know, millions in, in FTX, but yeah, you know, it's, you, you it's gonna be I'm quite sure there's gonna be a lot of people pissed off at this guy you know you know people with you know millions of dollars but anyways it's him and a few other people who live together or something like that and dating and con that's really conflict of interest it, everything this whole thing is just playing out like a movie it's kind of like a movie you know it's like some this is like some crypto version of Wolf of Wall Street type stuff of wolf or wolf of crypto uh, but anyways you know, they're going to, they're going to, I'm quite sure they're going to sort that out. That's why we need, to, we need to go ahead and get, you know, regulation here on the crypto exchanges. You know, that way we don't got to worry too much, you know, just like in the stock market, you know, in the stock market, you know, you don't hear about people have to take off their stocks, whatever stocks you buy, take it off the exchange, you know, uh, you know, because it's regulated to the point where, you know, it's, it's you know, FDIC insured, you know, whatever, you know, stocks you buy. But anyways... Um, I highly believe we're going to, this whole FTX saga, we're going to, you know, we're going to, crypto's going to bounce back from this because history is, is proven, you know, history has shown that, you know, this is not the first time there's been a, a crypto, a big crypto scandal. It's not the first time there's been other crypto scandals that happened in the past. You know, another thing I wanted to mention is the whole thing with BlockFi, <laughs> you know, BlockFi, I knew there was something kind of off about BlockFi. You know, whenever something seems too good to be true, you know, they're talking about, you know, lend us your crypto for a certain amount of time or days or whatever or whatever, a month or whatever, and you'll collect interest on your crypto. I knew there was something off about that. You know, so if, they're, if you're lending them their crypto, you're going to collect interest. You know how they benefit from it. Obviously, they're using your money to place bets to do to do their own personal gain with your crypto. You know, when you got stuff like, you know, BlockFi, it was another thing is a lot of the bigger YouTubers with bigger, bigger platforms, they were promoting BlockFi. It was like giving links to BlockFi. You know, I wonder how they feel, you know, and this all this imploded, you know, this whole BlockFi thing. And, you know, where, where they say they hold your crypto, you collect interest. You know, there was a big scandal about this several years ago called BitConnect. I'm not sure if you guys really remember. It was called BitConnect. You know, I remember at that time I was still learning crypto. You know, this was back in 2000, I think, 18 or something like that, 17, 18. During that time, there was a big crypto scandal, you know, called BitConnect. Go back and look at it where it was a big Ponzi scheme where people, where they'll say, basically, they'll give people tokens, give people tokens for their crypto. You lend out your crypto and you supposedly collect an interest on your crypto while they give you some some type of tokens. But at the end of the day, the thing crashed, it, it imploded and went under. And all the people who had their money in that, their crypto in that, they lost it, and those tokens that that the, the big connect, the tokens they gave out to the people who lent out their crypto, those tokens were worthless. It was worth nothing. It was a big Ponzi scheme scam. You know, whenever they have stuff like that, 
you know, just, you know, take cautious because I'm thinking the, the first people who started, they, you know, they're making money off of it. And then what they do is they get other people to help promote it, you know, help people uh, have other people with bigger platforms or YouTubers or that they go, you know, promote it. And then they'll probably get like some type of commission off of it. It's just a ripple effect. You know, the, the only people who's really benefiting off that is some of the, you got to be some of the first people who, who got started in it. And then, and then after that, you know, they're promoting it. They're trying to get other people to lend out their crypto, or whatever. They're claiming you're going to get this interest. And at the end of the day, it's going to implode. It's going to explode at the end of the day. It's going to blow over just like this whole FTX thing, you know. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm quite sure there are some st there's stable coins where you could collect some type of interest on, on stable coins or whatever. But you got, you know, I had a feeling that this whole, the whole BlockFi thing, there was some kind of, suspicious about it and then lo and behold you know ftx block five they're all they're all connected you know and all these bigger youtubers were they were promoting block five and i wonder i wonder if they had their if they put some of their crypto in block five you know some of those bigger youtubers that were you know promoting it you know they they all know who they are you know i know who they are i'm not going to say no names but you know a lot of them were you know but anyways you know we you know at the end of the day we got to look after ourselves we got to use common sense you know uh, but anyways, you know, um, that's, you know, pretty much how that, how that works. And, um, and, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, uh Jasmine coin right now is at 0 0.00440 right now. We was at 0 0.0035. Um, I think earlier this morning or late last night, we was at 0 0.0035. Now we're back up to 40. See, it, it looked like crypto is really ready to take off right now, even after, even even after all this crap, you know, with the FTX, you know, crypto is ready to make its move. And I'm hoping they go ahead and get some type of regulation going to protect us. And that'll, you know, then that way, the, all the, you know, retail investors, excuse me, the um, the um, the institutions can start buying up more, you know, crypto. Well, they already buying into crypto, the institutions. But, you know, they can have, you know, with the regulations, they can create other products, you know, with crypto. You know, because we are, we are, we all know that Wall Street want their hands on crypto. We all know they do, you know. But yeah, but like I said, this whole FTX thing is not over. They're gonna do more investigations, because I'm telling you, they these guys were connected with people in the high up. I'm not gonna say any names. These guys were connected. You know, this FTX, they were all connected. Them Binance, Crypto.com, they're all connected. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if they they were also even connected with Coinbase. You know, the community. You know, it's all. You know. A lot of the people in the high ups, they, you know, they're all, they're all, they all know each other, and you know, especially the people, the millionaires and billionaires in crypto, you know what I mean? They're all in cahoots. But anyways, this, yeah, I'm with, you know, I'm gonna look at some more YouTube channels, see what's going on with this. But yeah, go ahead and don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, you know, I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, just want to give you guys an update. Things is looking good right now. Um, right now we're at point zero zero forty, and it's funny, it's point zero zero forty is why I dollar cost average in last week. Last week I bought some more Jasmine coin at point zero zero forty, so I'm back at my average. Why I want, you know why I have bought some more, you know Jasmine. But anyways, let's um, let's just sit back and wait, see what happens. You know, uh, this this crypto it moves so fast. News changes. It, it, literally, news is changing every hour, every thirty minutes or hour. There's new news coming out, especially with this whole um, Sam Bankman, you know, freed guy, you know, whatever. The big, the big, you know, froster, you know, like I said, these people need to face justice. They did people dirty, you know, they did people dirty. Um, but yeah, um, hey, I uh, hope you guys are having a good Monday night and it's, it's Monday night crypto and it's looking good right now. You know, um, uh, yeah, let's, um, you know, you know, hope for the best, you know, we still got a long way to go. I can't wait till with this next crypto bull run get started. I cannot wait. Like I said, I'm looking you know, I'm looking to be sitting nice this next one. But yeah, you know, um, but uh, I'm going to try to post another video in the next hour or two. This is like my second video for the day. But hey, yep. Hey, take care. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys is having a good Monday. Take it easy.